Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 980. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic 979 to 980, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about OR and AND criteria. We have a huge data set here, but we need to count the records uh, when we find an account executive or recruiter in this column. So for each cell, I'm going to have to ask have to ask the question, is it an account executive or is it a recruiter? Then I have an AND criteria. I also need to make sure that this cell is not empty. Now notice this one should be counted, but there's an account executive down here that should not be counted. Now we can't, or I don't know how to use the count ifs functions because that's AND criteria. And we have mixed up criteria. We have two OR criteria and then an AND criteria, which is AND this cell um, is not empty. Or in our case, we could say, is it a date? So I'm going to switch over to the SUM product function. And for one of the arrays, I'm going to have to build OR criteria using Boolean logic. So check this out. And I'm ultimately going to have some trues and falses. And some product can't handle trues and falses. So you have to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. So I'm going to use double negative, which is an efficient means to do that. Now I'm going to put one open parentheses and then a second open parentheses. And I'm going to ask the question, click on that cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the cell. And I'm going to ask, is anything in there equal to account executive? Now, that'll give me a bunch of trues and falses. I don't even think I can evaluate this, because it'll be too big. So if I hit the F9 key, it's too big. Maximum number of characters or formulas, uh, characters in a formula is 8192. All right, so that gives me trues and falses. Um, but it's only going to give me a, a true for when it sees account executive. So get this. I'm going to add using Boolean or criteria. And I'm going to ask of the same column, Control Shift, Down Arrow, Control Backspace, is anything equal to recruiter? Now, because the question is these two or criteria, and it's of the same cell, meaning we're never going to get both account executive and recruiter, we can simply add. We're never going to get a true here and a true here, which if we added true plus true is 2. So we're always going to get uh, either a 0, 0, or a 1, 0, or a 0, 1. All right, so that's why this construction can work in Boolean or criteria. All right, so now I'm going to close that off. Suffice it to say, I can't evaluate there. But that's the OR part. And then comma, we're going to multiply that first array times the second array, double negative, open. Per Actually, I'm going to double negative. And I'm going to take advantage of the fact that dates are serial numbers. And I'm going to use is number function. Now, this is going to be tough because I can't control shift down arrow because there's a bunch of spaces. I'm just going to copy this. I was going to try something with that one and change it to the C. OK, so now we have our range there. So is number uh, will only say true when there's a date. And I had to put the double negative, right? But just in front of the uh, is number, because all the trues and falses are, there's no operation like there was over here that we needed to uh, prioritize with our parentheses over the, the double negative. So that'll work. Enter. I have my turn speak cells on enter on. Now there's another way we could do this. I'm going to Control C and Control V. I could, if it wasn't numbers, for example, you could just use that double negative there and say, is anything in that, whoops, Control Z. I don't want to have to type that again. Is anything, whoop, got rid of that. Is anything in that range not? Empty when it sees an empty cell, it'll say false. When it sees something, it'll say true. And that will work also. All right, now, whoop, there is another way we could do this. We could use the match function. The match function, you give it a lookup value, and it tells you the ordinal position. Now, check this out. We're going to mix it up here. And I actually learned this trick from Hammy72 at the YouTube. Uh, instead of the typical lookup value and lookup array. I'm, and the lookup value can be thought of as a criteria, right? To look up a number, a relative position in a list. Well, check this out. I'm going to give 
the match function a lookup value of this entire column, Control Shift down or Control Backspace. And then the lookup array is going to be just those two values. So it can only return an array of ones or two. Now I'm going to comma 0 for exact match. And here's the trick. When you give the lookup value argument, this uh, more than one lookup value, that means the function itself is going to return more than one value. This is called a, a function argument array calculation. So that lookup value is expecting a lookup value, and therefore the match function will give you a single relative position. But we gave it uh, almost 25,000. So it's going to return 25,000 answers, right? And they're all going to be either one or two. Again, I can't um, show you that. F9 because it's too long. But no problem. That'll give me a strings uh, a string of not not available and, and sorry, an array of either not available one or two. All right, so I'm going to uh, around that put double negative and then I'm going to ask the question, is it a number, right? Cuz we have those NAs in there that'll mess everything up. Now, the is the is number would return an array of trues or falses. True will be for I found the position 1 or 2. False will be for the NA. And then we'll convert those to 1's and zeros. I'm going to put a sum product. And then we simply have to put uh, some other array like for our column with dates. So this will be the OR. We're using the match for the OR. And then the IS number will be the AND. I'm going to change that to a C. All right, and then we get the same answer. Now, there is a caveat. Anytime you use the match to do OR criteria on very large data sets, it'll be the slowest in calculation time compared to these other ones. Now, I went, this is a gigantic data set, so I went ahead and timed it. And you can see the match took about 0 0.0189. Uh, the sum product with not and is number then took about 0 0.0149, about. But that's a significant decrease. So if you went from using the, the, the match down to the, the first one we did, that would be a reduction in time of about 21%. Uh, so it does matter for large data sets. Now, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. The advantage to this is it's pretty darn easy compared to entering in uh, this Boolean criteria, especially when you have lots of OR criteria. Then flat out, the extra calculation time is worth it. Now, this um, that's it for Excel Magic Trick 980. But let's go over to this sheet here. This I've been working on a, a new DVD of videos and book called Control Shift Enter Mastering the Excel Array Formulas. It'll be out in spring 2013. So that is just kind of a preview of some of the things you will get. The book will be a uh, for people who don't know array formulas or people who want to see kind of a logical presentation uh, from beginning to end of all the different kinds of aspects and elements that go into creating array formulas. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.